it's your girl Kiki. So I gotta give a little disclaimer. This is not a kids channel. This is an adult channel. I do not make my videos for kids. I am an adult collector that can say and do whatever I want because they are my dolls and my opinions. Okay, enjoy the video. Bye. Okay, we are recording. But hi guys. Oh my God, long time no see. How are we doing? Is this gonna be my new thing, like posting like once a month? <laughs> Well, if you guys cannot guess from the title, this is going to be a retrospective video on Laguna from Monster High, girl. And I always thought that the first retrospective video I would have done would have been on Claudine. I mean, she's my favorite from G1. She's my favorite. Well, she was my all-time favorite out of Monster High, but we're going to be talking about G3. We are not talking about G2. I don't own a single G2 doll, and I don't like any of the G2 dolls. Are my bangs really... Th I just took so many pictures thumbnail pictures of my bangs are this fucked up i'm so excited to make this video though um i if you guys saw my tearless video i i had to cut a lot out because i was going on a lot of rants about how much i love laguna and then i was sitting there and i'm like oh my god i don't have a lot of laguna dolls but at the same time there's not a lot of laguna dolls i have all my laguna dolls standing right here so we only have one from g3 today which is the signature laguna doll and the only reason why we only have one is because I don't like any of the current G3 Laguna dolls. I think, isn't it only, there's only Monster Ball, right? Oh, no, now there's the Scared Ice one. She's cute, but like, I'm not feeling it. The one I really want is the Recore. I'm going to get the Recore of all the G3 because it's basically Wave 2 if you want to compare it to G1, but I am rambling. Um, we need to get to the point of this video. It's a retrospective. We're going to go down all the dolls that I personally have, and I'm going to talk about how much I love them, why I love them, and yeah, let's just hop right into this, shall we? Starting out strong, we we are immediately start. Oh, I got to put it over here. We are immediately starting with G1. Here's mine right here. I'll probably put some like B-roll footage of our pictures of these dolls. Uh, but this is my signature Laguna Blue uh, from G1. I got her. She's not fully complete. She's missing some accessories. Uh, but I got her and thrifted her from a, uh, like, what's it called? A swap meet. Holy shit. I got her from a swap meet for $15. And it pissed me off because the lady had a bunch of Monster High dolls, none of which I wanted. They were pretty beat up and pretty bad. And she had them, list she had them all for like five bucks or less. But she saw my reaction when I saw this doll and she charged me $15, which whatever. I still got to steal uh, the mo in total to get I had to get fins in her shoes in total. Uh, I really spent um, $30 fixing up this doll. She has a mark on her face. But besides that, she's absolutely gorgeous. Let's just I mean, I think I said I was going to put B-roll footage, but whatever. But this is such a fantastic doll and she is really expensive. If you are starting your collection um, your Monster High collection and you're starting with G1. I, I I originally would have recommended for you to get Creep Production, but Creep Production is super expensive as well. But there's supposed to be a wave two of reproduction or Creep Production, sorry. There's supposed to be a reproduction, but who knows how that'll go. Scalp scalpers will be scalpers and people will be greedy. So that's that. But let's move on to wave two Laguna, who I have right here, who for the longest time and still kind of is, my favorite Laguna. I feel like this outfit really, just this whole look really encaptures who Laguna is. It's really fashionable, but it's still tomboyish because she still has like this little romper on. And then she has her fishnets, which is so her. And then she still has her little sandals on. I like the mismatched um, legging fishnet sock moment. I like her little bag that has her skullet. It's like a beach bag. Um, I really like this bracelet on her. Uh, some of you are going to find this really crazy, too. I bought this. Look at This is probably one of the most expensive dolls I've ever bought. And you're like, why? What do you mean? I bought her in the box for $92. And I took her out, obviously. I didn't want her in box. I just wanted one. And she was stupid cheap at first. But my I, this was in the beginnings of my collecting. And I realized, like, I was buying a lot of inbox dolls and unboxing them. Which I don't care if people do that. I don't get two shits. But people throw a fit about that. That's what I did with her. I love her. She's amazing. I'm glad I took her out of the box because she deserves to be out of the box. This hand mold is so cute and I just love everything about her. 
she's gorge. She's absolutely gorge. There's not much I can say. It's just the detail in this doll is stunning. I love her makeup. It's so like, it's not it, like it's some somehow softer, but not softer than her like original makeup. But I don't know how to describe it. It's just she encapsulates Laguna to me. You know what I mean? Okay, now we're going to move into G3. So G3 Laguna. Um, obviously, you know, people had a lot of issue with her. Holy shit, she's so dusty. <sighs> These dolls are like, finally, we're being, oh my God, the dust everywhere. They're like, finally, we're being touched. Oh my God. People did not like that she had pink skin. I personally could give two shits. I maybe threw a fit, maybe in the beginning. I don't really remember. But I've come to love G3 and I really like G3 Laguna. She is from Honduras. So she is um, Latina, which is everything. Um, I do think that, you know, she's has like a stereotypical accent in the show, but that usually happens with like a lot of voice acting. Um, but anyways, I think she is adorable. I, I think that this is a good example of like, okay, she's like still a tomboy. And I really like that. She's like wearing her athletic athleisure athleisure is that what it's called like clothes and like i really like that i think it's adorable um monster ball though is an absolute wreck or an absolute train wreck to me and we're gonna talk about that when i get to honka tour because that's that's literally what it is but don't 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 do it don't don't do it oh okay i don't know why i put it in this order i have a script okay i don't know why i put it in this order um <laughs> So this is, um, did I even show off that I do have, I do have Neptuna. It's just in 13 Wishes Laguna's bag, if that makes sense. But this is my Creep production Laguna. Um, I love and hate this Laguna because the face, a lot of people like the face and I don't. I don't know why. I like that she looks stupid and fishy. <laughs> she looks like a dumb fish bitch in her signature G1 look. I don't know. I just really like that. And in this, no, nah, she still looks like a dumb bitch. <laughs> she is a fishy bitch. Bye, bro, bitch. Bye, ho. Bye. But no, she's adorable. I mean, there's not much to say because it's literally just a reproduction of the original. The face is different. The fins are different. Like, the like they're more, like, iridescent. Oh, shit. They're more, like, clear, I guess you could say. Um, I mean... For people who don't have the money, who didn't have the money at the time when these dolls first came out. Um, by the way, the only reason why I have all the creep productions is because I woke up early when they were supposed to release and they were on my Walmart, at my Walmart online and I just ordered all of them. It was everything. Um, if you didn't have Signature Laguna, I already have my Signature Laguna, but if you didn't have her, there you go. You know, I don't think it matters. A lot of people like to fight and argue saying that like, Oh, but it's not from the original release, so it's not as cool. Ah! Like, who? Some people don't want to drop. I mean, now the creep productions are super expensive, so it doesn't even fucking matter. But some people don't want to drop, like, hundreds of dollars just to be like, oh, I have the one from 2010. Because I got lucky that I thrifted mine for $15. You know what I mean? So now we're going to get into Haunt Couture. And I said I would bring up G3, um, Laguna's... Uh, Co costume ball was it wait i've been saying costume ball monster ball holy shit rainbow high has rotted my brain um is this doll ugly i can't 100 percent agree with that <laughs> with that question i can't confirm nor deny because the outfit is actually kind of horrendous but the face <sighs> oh my god <sighs> <laughs> The dust is crazy. Uh, the face is gorge. I mean, I think her face is really gorgeous. This outfit, this mermaid style look for Laguna is so overdone. And I think my biggest gripe with Laguna in the whole Haunt Couture line, not the masquerade ball. I'm this Laguna in the, in the original Haunt Couture line, she's very 80s. She's giving like Madonna to me. And I don't think that matches the overall vibe of the rest of the dolls. But regardless of that, this just also doesn't feel like Laguna. This, I don't feel like this is a Laguna outfit. Like it has aspects of Laguna in it, but like it just is not Laguna to me. Um, and we're going to get to her Ghoul's Night Out doll, which I feel like is very much so Laguna. And that's what's happening with this, um, the festival. 
G3 doll, um, Monster High doll. If you guys did not see that, maybe I'll put I'll put the picture of the doll I'm talking about on screen so you guys can be like, oh, um, that's like basically like a Ghoul's Night Out version in G3. And that to me is a very Laguna outfit, even if it's G3, like it just looks like Laguna. You know what I mean? And this is like a dressy campy outfit and it does not look like Laguna. But I still think the doll is very gorgeous. Um, I just think that they could have done more instead of sticking to the regular tropes that they give to Laguna. I meant to, okay, sorry, here's real drama. Hey, so fun fact, I got real drama um, Laguna because I um, I was on Reddit on my way to school. I'm like literally walking into my college class and I saw on Reddit, someone's like, Laguna's fucking live, Laguna's live. Electric chair. Bitch, I had a coupon and I got her for $9. And then not even like 30 minutes later, Frankie went live and then I ordered Frankie. But I got this Laguna for $9 off of Target. I bought my Claudine and my Draculaura off of Walmart. And I paid about $30 each for them, which was overpriced. But not as overpriced as what some of these other bitches were paying. So I don't care. Um, but here is the little Neptuna. All black and white. I'll do close-ups of everything. Don't worry, guys. I know my I know that I haven't filmed it yet, but I'll film B-roll so you guys can like get nice shots and everything and I'll make it like all cool. Okay. Now we're going to Ghoul's Night Out. That's why I'm kind of upset that I did out of order. But now we're going to Ghoul's Night Out. So this was another Laguna I bought in box. I didn't buy her for crazy expensive. I think I bought her for like 35 bucks in box. Took her out. Um, I don't regret doing that because her purse was really faded. Uh, so you'll see it, it's really yellowing, so. It didn't really matter too much to me, but this to me is very Laguna. This is an 80s look. This is like an 80s, 90s look to me. And I think that Laguna absolutely kills it. Um, and I think that this is a way to do a dressy, campy Laguna. Because, like, it's not very, is it very tomboyish? No, it's still like, she could have been wearing pants, you know, whatever. But that doesn't make a tomboy. It doesn't matter. If Laguna wants to wear a dress once in a while, she fucking can. And she's killing it right here. I absolutely adore this doll. Um, a lot of people are saying that G3 uh, Festival Laguna is better than Ghoul's Night Out, which is totally okay. I think they're equal in my opinion. And that's just because they need to be putting Laguna in black way more often. But this is how you do it. This is exactly how you do it. She looks fucking fantastic. I know that all of her outfits so far, oh my God, every single one has black. I just realized. I can't believe that there are people that would do something like this. It's so sick and twisted. Except her. Oh, my God. Except her dead tired. And her Dawn of the Day. OK. She's gorgeous and she's stunning. And I I think a lot of more people need her in their collection. Um, her dress has sharks on it. Her earrings have sharks on it, which is not a sea creature you normally see associated with laguna usually it's like seahorses dolphins but no bitch they're sharks they're straight up sharks they got teeth like and i love that and she has bite marks on her boots it's on like on these like little booties so so cute and like i said there'll be close-ups and everything but so i guess next up we're going to be doing her scarce two pack i did not grab her little shopping bag that she has with her this is another good way to do laguna and she is so girly in this but like in the best way possible but this laguna she's so this one's very octopus themed i mean on her shoes the clip in her hair on her um on her necklace and on her little bracelet is all octopus and i think these are like supposed to be i don't know it could be anything it could be barnacles for all i know tentacles i don't care um just this laguna is so so cute and i'm obsessed with her i think this is a really overlooked laguna it, the, okay the makeup is a little like, I would not have picked that lipstick, I think. She looks a little clownish. But absolutely adorable. And I just, I, we need more Lagunas like this. Okay, Dead Tired Wave 1. Oh, I was absolutely obsessed with this Laguna for the longest time. Um, By far, one of my favorite Lagunas. I definitely think, like, if I had to rank all my Lagunas, she would be probably in the top five. Which, it's so silly, but such as she is by far the best dead tired doll i think she is the best de dead tired doll she is just so how much i bought this laguna for but she goes for kind of expensive she is holding 13 wishes 
Neptuna because I gave the one that came with her to my G1, um, my G1 Laguna. He, and she has her little mask on, which is really cute. And I'll do, you know, good shots of that. But the makeup on this doll is not normal. What we see with Laguna. Laguna always has blue in her makeup, blue, purple, but it's all blue. And there's usually pink. There's no pink. There is literally pink on her shirt. And that is it. And this is, oh, sorry. The fucking little slippers. But like, that's it. And that's all it needs to be. And I love the little detail, the slits on her scales, pajama pants for her fucking fins. Are you kidding me? I'm saving the best for last, by the way. This is not the best one I'm about to show. I try not to keep myself. Um, okay. By the way, mine has cut hair. Don't talk about it. I bought her for like 10 bucks. Um, this is the wave two Laguna and I despise this Laguna. <laughs> I despise this Laguna because she, the black top is not it. I, I don't like it. And I don't like the shorts and they try to do the scales again, which whatever. Um, her little booties, like they don't have fins anymore. They're just weird and furry and her makeup is just like, it's still blue, but then she's pink lips. I'm like, dude. Um, I do like the, over okay, I do like the little, like, it lo looks like it's supposed to be like a tank top underneath of the shirt. And that's like super cute. I like her little creep over, I'm saying creep over, but her little, um, dead tired, like, um, skullette. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> her little skullette thing. Her hair is cut. Like I said, it's not supposed to be this short. Honestly, she kind of rocks it. She needs short hair more often. Here's a bonus item to show off. I got this at my local antique store, which is so weird that this was at an antique store, but they do sell dolls there. Um, this is, um, I funny enough, I do have the Draculaura that's on the back of this. Um, and I, I used to have all these fashion packs as a kid, except this Laguna one. So it was so funny that I found it. I found it for like 10 bucks. So I, of course I bought it. I was like, are you kidding? I was gonna buy it regardless because I always wanted one of these in box and I mean, it's when the, it started getting cheaper, but it's so cute. And the bag is a recolor of her wave two. The the little ribbons are supposed to be like rope. Cause you get it. Ah! Okay, like okay, sorry. Like look at the little picture of the bag. Stop, guys. Look at it. And her hair is so cute. Guys! I want her out of box. I hope I can get her. In my opinion, this is the most underrated Laguna doll of all time. Donna the dance. Mommy, mommy. I can't be your mother. I rarely see people talking about her when it comes to like their faves and she needs to be up there more. She's fucking stunning. Like I wish I had her out of the box. So I could really showcase like her shoes. And yes, I know it's a mermaid. I know, I know, but it's done well. And we only needed the one. Like they tried to re replicate this. You can so tell with on couture, not done correctly, babe. Honestly, this doll's, Dress is better than hunk couture. The little fucking, this is so 2000s too. Like the little like shawl around her hips. So cute. I just love everything about this doll. I love her mohawk. And again, the first time we get dark makeup with, and like the only time we get dark makeup with Laguna and it's blue and it looks good. You don't need to put pink on her face all the time. Oh my God. It's like she's purple eyebrows for God's sake. Absolutely. And guys, look at the little CD from New Cool at School. Oh my God. It takes me back. Guys, I am, I was nine, 10 years old when these dolls were first coming out. That was 12, almost 13 years ago. I'm turning 23 this year. So pause. Um, But yeah, I absolutely adore this doll. I'll do close-ups and I'll show off the box and everything. And it has like her little, the box is a little beat up. I have everybody in Donna the Dance except Deuce and Draculaura, and yeah, it pains me. Get off my page! OMG. That Draculaura is one of them that I'm missing. Pisses me off, honestly. Well, that video went by way faster than I thought, but I kind of don't want these videos to be super uber duper long, but this is a fun way for me to show off my collection to you guys and talk about some of my favorite dolls. I mean, all my dolls are my favorite dolls. I wouldn't own them if I didn't like them. And I have so many more. Now I'm like looking around my room. I'm like, oh my God, I have so many more dolls I want to talk about. But 
I mean, Laguna is probably on, Laguna and Cleo from Monster High are definitely on the smaller end. The the main three, oh, and Gulia, but the main three, Claudine, Frankie, Draculaura, I have the most of. I think Claudine, I have the most dolls. I think I have like twenty four of her dolls or something. That's including G three. I'm including G three. I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know who you guys want to see next. I think. I think next I might do like I might do Cleo. I think I want to do underrated characters first. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys in the next one.